Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how to send post data using PHP curl. So let's get started. So firstly understand when we will be exactly hitting a post request. So when we need to send some data to our server in the request body or in JSON format, then we will be hitting a post request. So let's start with our data first. So write data and a blank array. And in array, first one, I'm going to write number, let's say one. And current date, write date function in YMD format. Then write, let's say name, I'm going to pass KT in that. So these three parameter I'm going to send in post. So now write curl in it and hold it in a variable of ch. So this will basically create a session for curl. After this, I'm going to set options for curl. So write blank option array, then write curl set opt array and inside that pass curl handle and option array. So after this, I'm going to pass option. First one is URL. So write curl opt URL and inside that I'm going to send my own link. So I have created one file on my server with fake api.php name. So same link I'm going to pass in URL here. So copy the link and paste in the URL. So I have opened the same file in next tab. So let me show you in FileZilla that fake api.php I have opened it from here. So paste it in the URL. So now how do curl know that it's a post request? So for that we need to set another option. So that is curl opt post and it's going to be set to true. Then it will tell the curl request that it's a post request. So now for sending data, we have another option that is post fields. Inside that I'm going to pass my data array that I have defined before. So now last option I'm going to set is return transfer to one. So I'm going to hold my response into a variable and then print it. Now finally execute the curl with curl execute and hold the response in a variable that is result. After that, close the curl session with curl close. At last, I'm going to print my response that is result. Now in my server file that is fake api.php, I'm going to just print my post fields. So write printr and dollar post. So these are the basic option that you need to set for a post request. So now let's check if it's working fine or not. So refresh. Now you can see our data is printed. So here you can see in the response that number is one and date is picked to current date. So our curl is working fine here. It's hitting a request and giving us a response. So understand the flow here that using curl, you are hitting one URL. And in that URL, you're getting all the post data there. And you are returning the same post data. You can return any like status or a message. You can return that as well. But I am just here returning all the post data. And that response, I am holding it in a variable and printing that. So here I have shown you how to send a post data. You can also send JSON post data here. It will be done using headers. So I'll be showing you how to add the headers in curl request in my next video. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.